This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Matt and Marbella. We're in Manchester here, post fight with Terry Flanagan, who's just destroyed Diego Magdaleno in two rounds. Oh, I don't think a lot of people expected that. Uh, I think a lot of people expected it to be a tough, like, long endured fight, but you don't get uh, paid overtime as they commonly say in boxing. No, it was good. Uh, it was easier than I thought. I thought it, I was expecting a hard night's work and uh, it turned out easier in the end. We spoke the other day about you possibly not getting the credit, the recognition, especially after the way that the fight went, but mandatory challenger, he deserved to be there tonight in with you and uh, you showed, you know, what what you can do and I think it's only a taste though. It is, yeah, like he didn't even get going, did he? Again, the first round was easier than when I caught him, we just put it on him and got him out of there, but uh, yeah, I was happy with the performance and we'll uh, move on now and hopefully many more to come here and big packed out nights. That seemed to be the best finish of your career, you'd go along with that? Yeah, it's got to be on it, especially with it being against a quality operator like Diego, who only lost one in 28 fights and to take him apart how he did, it's all sweeter. Um, I know I was speaking to you before, that, uh, before obviously tonight, you said that you'd ideally not really want to be fighting before the end of the year, but things change now, you've done two rounds. It's not about the rounds, is it? Like I said about the last fight, people see it only as two rounds, but they don't see the hard camps. I train harder than anyone, Coogan. I'm like a, like a madman. I, I train morning to night, I train twice a day. I go home, I sleep. So all, all I do is train. It's come from running in the morning home, get in bed, get up. Then he meeting and I'm to the gym home, it's just non-stop, it's been like that since Christmas, so it's hard for me to think it, but I'll, I'll go back and I'll see how I feel, I'll have a little holiday with my missus, what it's booked to go on Monday morning, so I'll see how I feel after that, if I feel like I'm ready to go back in the gym, I'll go back in, if I, if I don't, I won't, and it won't be fine before Christmas, so I've got to be, I've got to want to go back in, if I don't want to go back in, I won't. Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, just after the fight now, and I mean, sit down with your team and uh, friends and decide course, what to do. Well, them fights, what, what in, in December will be there in the new year, in like February, March time, I'm bothered to chain over Christmas, I just feel like, at the minute, I need a bit of a break, but... We'll see, see what offers you come with and then... We'll I, I think if you look to your left, I think your future's being decided right there. It probably is. <laughs> I don't even get a sit in the matter, like I said before. If he says I'm fighting, I'm fighting. So I'll fight. I've always done what I'm told. I'm not going to change now. That's right, but listen, you've uh, you definitely, like I said, if people doubted it before, I think you've you made a statement tonight, regardless of whatever say people say on social media and Cheers, silly mate. things. Okay. So, that said, he was a mandatory challenger. But what did I say to the other day when I said it won't matter if I knock him out in two rounds? They'll probably say, yeah, I want that good anyway. What well, listen, I hope people don't say that because, like I said, it was, I'm not saying it was a 50 50 problem, yeah. but it was, a, it was, on paper, it was um, a tougher fight than well, what you Bucky, made it. I think the Bucky's had it even, didn't they? So, it's had to be the Bucky's not even get it done, did I? Not always, not always, but like I said, you made it easier look than what it should have been on paper, so take it. always do, it's like, it's like I say, when I, wa I watch fighters, me, there's no point watching them because you look at them and they're not in with people who are at my level. I know it sounds a bit arrogant and cocky, but you watch them and you think, oh, that's a good shot, it runs that well. But then when you're in with them, they can't run them shots on you, so it's hard to judge out how the fight's going to go because it's, it's not against you, you're not watching them against you, so it's hard because I know you watch someone who isn't, isn't that good and you think they look good because you're fighting someone who isn't that good, so it's hard to think about. We picked a few shots and they worked. Worked down to a T, so like I said, it's very impressive. I think everyone that saw it tonight would have been impressed with that. And yes. If they're not impressed with that, then <laughs> they can do one, Terry, so don't worry about it. All right, well, Mr. Flanagan, thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV, not just today, but all week. So, uh, yes. go and have a little break and decide what you're going to do. Oh, I'll do. Thank you. You've stopped talking now, so it's already been decided what you're doing. Go on, ask them what I'm doing, I don't know. All right. So, just tell him you want a break. Tell this man, he's the man who Steve, decides. Steve, you want a break? 
What for that? He wants a fight. <laughs> making it easy work. This is easy, isn't it? But he's I'm gone saying, three rounds in his last two fights. I'm just saying, he wants a break. <laughs> no. Kit Kat, give him a Kit Kat then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, thank you very much. Cheers. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon, all right? Cheers. Cheers, mate.